yes ah uh, good afternoon so today i'm going to uh, uh, demonstrate the experiment number 7 in cyber security lab so the experiment is the working with a smart tool to demonstrate in present detection system so for uh, this experiment the aim is that this smart is an open source network in present detection system and it is a packet sniffer that monitors the network traffic in real time so first of all we have to know that what is intrusion detection system so intrusion detection system is a set of techniques set of techniques and uh, methods which are used to detect suspicious activity both at the network and the host level so intrusion detection systems uh, it's fall into two categories first is signature based intrusion detection system and second is anomaly detection systems so intruders have a uh, signatures like uh, computer viruses which can be detected using software so we try to find out data packets which contain uh, known intrusion related signatures or anomalies which is related to internet protocols so based upon a set of signature and rules the detection system is able to find and log suspicious activities and uh, after that but it gets suspicious activity that it will generate it will uh, alarm the alerts so anomaly based intrusion detection usually depends on packet anomalies which is present in the protocol protocol header parts so in some cases these methods produce better result compared to signature based intrusion detection system so usually an intrusion detection system it captures data from the network and it uh, apply various rules so that uh, the data uh, or it can detect anomalies uh, in the network so snort is the primarily a rule based intrusion detection system so uh, however input plugs in are present to detect anomalies in protocol headers so now i talk about the uh, snort tool so snort tool is uh, basically it's based on a uh, library packet capture so it is a tool which is widely used in tcp or ip traffic sniffers and analyzers so through protocol analysis and content searching and matching so it's not detect attack methods Uh, attack methods and in include denial of service buffer overflow cgi attack stealth port scans and smb probes so when suspicious behavior is detected it's not send a real time alarm to syslog or a separate alert file or to pop up windows so snort is currently the most popular free network intrusion detection software so the advantage of snorts are according to the snort website it can perform protocol analysis content searches or matching and it can be used to detect a variety of attacks and probes such as buffer overflow stealth port scans cgi attack smb probes operating system fingerprinting attempts and much more so one of the uh, advantage of snort is that it is ease of configurations there are rules which is very fle flexible it is easy to write and it is easy to insert it into the rule base if, uh, if a new exploit or attack is found a rule for the attack can be added to the rule base in a matter of seconds and another advantage is that it allow for rogue packet data analysis now it's not tool it can be configured in three modes first is sniffer mode second is uh, packet logger mode third is network intrusion detection system mode so is a sniffer mode there are two commands snort nsp print out the tcp or ip packets headers on the screen and by using a snort vd command it shows the tcp or ip icmp header with application data in transmit so second mode is packet logger mode so there are two commands first is uh, by using a snort minus deb minus i c dot log it's create this directory in the c drive 
and it's not will automatically know to go into the packet logger mode it collects every packet it sees and place it in that log directory so uh, second command is it's not minus db minus l c uh, slash dot log minus h i p address is 24 this rule tells it's not that you want to print out the data link and DCP IP headers as well as application data into the log directory. And the third is S0 uh, minus L C uh, log minus B. This is a binary mode logs. So everything into a single file. So third mode is network in present detection system mode. So in that uh, also there are two commands. First command is not minus d c log minus h ip address 24 minus c is not dot cymf by using this command it is a configuration uh, file applies rule to each packet to decide it can uh, it uh, it is an action based upon the rule type in the file and by using this uh, command is not minus d minus h ip address slash 24 minus l c uh, colon uh, slash log minus c is not dot c o n f by using this command it will configure is not to run its most basic and ideas form logging packet that trigger rules is specific in the is not configuration so there are uh, some steps there are uh, some uh, procedure to um, how to uh, use is not tools so um, all the commands all the uh, in all the modes we already discussed here so first in, in sniffer mode um, by using that this command it can print out the tcp ip packet and second step is not minus bd step 3 packet logger mode step 4 is not minus db hiv this rule uh, tells how you want to print out the data link okay next step is all the uh, what all the uh, command i discussed you have to uh, write it down so step is not minus one c log b this binary board logs everything into a single file okay so step uh, in step eight you have to download is not from is not org and install is not with or without database support okay next select all the component and click next install and close in step 10 skip the uh, you can skip the win p cap driver installation okay in step 11 you have to add the path variables in window environment variable by selecting new class path so create a path variable and point it at s not dot exe variable name and variable value c um, uh, columns not bin and click ok button and then close all the dialog box open command prompt and type the following commands okay so uh, this is the screenshot how we uh, installed uh, this not uh, software in the window you have to you, by using this you can uh, 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 set the new class path and new variable name and this is the, the how you will uh, going to see when you type uh, the uh, commands in cmd prompt okay so now you see uh, how uh, first uh, how we are going to start to install the uh, smart software so first you go to the chrome okay and next you uh, uh, you just by from here the, I, I, I downloaded the software smart software from here so here just you go into that download smart 2.9.70 so after that you will uh, see this okay see here you will go download from there you uh, select anyone from here and after that uh, you will uh, download this software because in this system I already installed this uh, software so here from here you will download and after that you just uh, uh, install this software and after installing this software you have to path uh, set the path so you go into the computer here you go into the properties and after that you have to go into the into system settings and from here you, uh, you go into environment variable and just here you just go into the new and here you uh, variable name path and here 
c uh, dot is not being because i uh, installed here so see you can see where in c drive i have installed here you can see here so you see you go just uh, the program file and here you see it's not You see drag here the folder is not here this is the pin okay so here you can see this path see column is not pin and uh, you just copy this path and you have to uh, uh, click here you have to paste here and the variable name is path and you just you have to uh, press ok and then ok then uh, you have to close all the console okay so after that you have to go in here this command prompt see here you have to do just command prompt okay so now here of changing this So now you can say start minus i start minus h see here it's not being right so you have to just have a selected path this one okay now it's not I see all the uh, thing has come so what is that see this is all the thing you just see now you have to just uh, here or uh, you have to go into uh, this mode it's not minus v okay it's not uh, that packet logger mode you just go there okay here it's not This is that uh, network interaction detection system mode. Okay, it's not it's D. Okay, see here you can uh, see it's not minus H by using this. Uh, this is the helping command and by this you can uh, here you can uh, see that all the commands and what uh, uh, the information you want to uh, find out so that uh, command and uh, uh, that command you can write and you can see uh, you can see that all the information okay see here all the information you can see okay so by using uh, this see here see minus c print out the payload with a character data type only so what the information you want to just see uh, packet header the list of uh, here this is the configuration file this see it's not minus d c uh, log minus h ip address 24 c is not config this is a configuration file 
it is a configuration node to run okay so now here it is uh, here this is the packet logger mode so just see it's not even it's the packet logger mode so it uh, uh, here I, it uh, it will automatically know how to know to go into the packet logger mode so how will go in, in how to go into that packet logger mode so this all the information you can uh, you know, see by this so, so there are packets command there are uh, the different command to show uh, what the information you want to know so also that command you just apply it and you can just see all the information what you want to know okay so uh, by this uh, basically the intelligent detection system it is the uh, it's uh, system is to monitor the uh, systems and wherever the any uh, suspicious activity uh, comes it will uh, give you the message it will pop up the windows and any other thing so and uh, by this you can uh, uh, monitoring the all the information all the system system information okay so um, okay by using this not you can do all this uh, uh, you can all uh, you can find out that how the internet uh, network intelligence detection system can be done okay so this is the demonstration part how you install uh, the it's not tool in your window how will uh, going to uh, uh, show the information by using the command so okay i hope you will understand okay thank you